Hi everyone, I'm CJ aka Adventure Shock 24 and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. Well today, in this episode, we're going to be maybe not 100% compl completing the, the Wooded Kingdom in this one episode, but we're definitely going to try our hardest to get close as possible to complete 100% completing everything in the Wooded Kingdom in this episode. And the good thing is, we're, we, we're really close to getting that s next secret world, and I think it's the last world in the whole game. I don't think, once we, once we get 82 more moons, we'll be able to complete the game and, and get that other ending I've heard about. I've heard that there's another ending to the storyline, so, yeah, I'm intrigued to see that. But, first, we're gonna, you know, have to 100% complete some more worlds first, because we need to, you know, actually get enough moons. And the only way we're gonna get 82 more moons is if we either grind money with Luigi's Balloon World, which I could easily do, and then go to the shop, or I could just do the, like, get into the Wooded Kingdom, and then we'll get moons that way. But first, where should we start? with the Wooded Kingdom, because there are lots of places that I remember, that I can remember from 100%ing this in my other off-camera profile, but I think maybe we should start with down here. Yeah, we'll start down here. Have I ever even gone down here in an episode? The weird thing is, I have moons from this section, but I don't think I got them in episode, so I might have gotten some moons down here by accident when I was just messing around, around before starting the episode in my off-camera pro- no, on this one. So, yeah, that might not be good in that I think there might be some moons down here in this, uh, no, like, deep forest section that I might have already got. There might be some stuff here that I already got, like this tree. I don't think I've been to this tree in episode, and I think I might have done this. Yeah, so moons like this, that were just down here, that I was, that I just decided to randomly get for seemingly no reason, that's the kind of thing that, um, I sort of did by accident before starting one of the Woodland Kingdom episodes, when we were here initially for the storyline. I sort of did some stuff here by accident before starting the episode. So, if you're wondering, that's why there's a bunch of stuff here that I missed. Also, I'm gonna need to avoid that T-Rex, because it is going to get very close to hitting me, so... Run! Roll away! Also, ground pound this. Is there anything here? Nope, just coins. Is that dinosaur even coming? It is! Run! Hide down here! Hide under this log! No, 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 go away, go away, you're not helping the situation, Mr. Dinosaur, you're not helping at all, um, anything behind this wall of rock, uh oh, it's coming, but where from, oh, it's making a giant huge leap, one giant leap for the dinosaur, one even bigger leap for Mario, come on, there we go, get on top, now I can break these and see if there's anything inside. Nope, doesn't look like it. Let's just leave that last one there. I see a scarecrow puzzle. Some trees to break. I don't think there's actually anything I need to do with the dinosaur right now. Actually, wait, having said that, maybe over there. Let's break this. Nope, nothing behind that. I'm just gonna have a quick scan of the area to make sure that there is definitely nothing to use the dinosaur on. Uh... Yeah, I don't think there's anything for me to do with the dinosaur. There's nothing I need to break that will reveal any sort of actual progress towards anything. So yeah, let's just leave the dinosaur there. And we'll check this. I think there might be some purple coins behind this. Yes, indeed. Now let's just leave the rock. Go inside this little hole, and we'll look over here as well. Ground pound this, even though this is only gonna give Goombas, I'm pretty sure. Let's break all of them. Anything this way? I don't think so. Ooh, you! I need you. There's a core. There's a. There's a. Oh, what? What? What is it called? Power moon. There's a power moon over this way that I jumped past with the dinosaur. That I'm pretty sure I need this guy for. Where's the river? If I can find the river, there we go. 
let's just follow the stream down this way. Now, you see this little tiny plant here, and this pile of coins next to it? This confused me for ages, but if you shoot this plant with coins, you slowly start to make it glow. But it gets even slower, and it takes longer to add another segment, the more the more you add to it. So, it ends up using a ton of coins. Like, it goes up s ridiculously super high. I'm pretty sure my corp has the camera or something. It goes up really, really high. So, um, this could take a while. And I'm going down in my coin count by a very large amount. If you look, it's starting to take longer to grow in own new segments now. It's taking forever. It just takes so many coins. Oh, boy. This is gonna take a while. And a lot of coins. Luckily, though, we still have Luigi's Balloon World, which is the most OP way for getting coins ever. Uh... How much longer is this gonna take? I think it might go up past, like, a straight-up camera or something. So, yeah, I'll be back when this is done. Oh, wait, wait. It's there. How long is this gonna take to grow? I see it. Oh, this is taking so many coins. Why? Come on. Any minute now. There we go. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, that was a lot of coins spent, like I said. But at least I can ground pound this guy and get some more coins out of him that way. But now, how am I gonna get to the top? How, you may ask? Let's just, um, do the standard old cap jump spat. A treasure made from coins. Literally, I guess. Yay. Uh, there's a beanstalk there. That must have been the way in how I escaped this to start that one episode that I was talking about. Okay, let's see where this goes. It goes in the middle of the forest somewhere. Let's just run and hope. Run and hope. Uh, where could it be? I don't see it anywhere. It ran out. I did, I hate this puzzle so much because you haven't. It literally there's no indication of where it could be. That's why I hate this one so much. Let's maybe get a head start. Let's do that, and then go. Okay. So the. Actually, wait, it's near the beanstalk. I saw it. Um, it's right there. There we go. I, I managed to pan the camera and catch that the place where the moon was was right next to where the beanstalk was. Which was conveniently right over here. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, next up we should maybe go for this one if I haven't already. By accident. I do believe I need to talk to you. I am providing security for this vault. I was told to only permit explorers inside. Excellent. You are cleared for exploration duty. Enjoy the mysterious unknown. Now I can enter the door, because I'm wearing the explorer outfit. And, there's an extremely ambient cave, with really detailed water, and a chest. With a moon! I thought it was gonna be a chest puzzle, but nope, it was just a straight-up moon. Well, in that case, what an adventure that was. That was such a quest! I'm back from my, the uh, humongous, the uh, fantasy Legend of Zelda-esque adventure to get that treasure chest. Pull the lever to receive a seed. I will take this. I'm not actually sh I'm- I'm- now I'm to the point where I don't know if there's anything left here for me to do. I think there might be some stuff left, though. Yeah, I think- I'm- now that I think about it, I think there are quite a few things that I haven't done yet that I can do in this dark forest. But first, I'm just going to, uh, sneak past this dinosaur with the seed. Can you notice? Kind of. Don't notice the floating seed. I might just, um, throw the seed. Or they're just gonna bash through one of the boxes and leave me alone. Let's get away from that very, very quickly. 
If I go this way, yep, there's a pipe in the tree. This is what I was looking for. Okay, treasure chest puzzle. One, two, three. Yay! Lucky guess! Okay. Deep Woods Treasure Trap. Well, it wasn't really much of a trap. That was... That was great. Completely, completely by accident, I managed to get it right. Yay. That, that made that much easier. How would you walk entire, the entire way around this tree in that amount of time? Go away. Don't notice me. I'm just gonna walk over this way. And hopefully you won't notice me. Don't notice me. Uh, we'll go this way, I think. I know there's another random pipe that's like along one of the walls somewhere. So, I'm gonna be looking for that now. Oh wait, I think I found it. Is it this? I think it is. Let's enter this. Yep, in yep indeed it is. Let's go right. Let's try right. Okay, right was right. Let's go... Middle. Okay, that was... No, that was wrong. Darn. Okay, I'm gonna try left then. It was the obvious one. Okay, now this is getting a bit more tricky. I'm gonna guess... The one all the way back here. Yay! Success! Past the peculiar pipes. That that was a lot easier than I and quicker than I remember it being. Okay. Um hmm. I think that might be it for this area of the kingdom exact actually. I think I think we might be done here. So uh let's go. Let's leave this darkness and finally get back to the main area of the world. And we're back up to the top. I think there might be some secrets around here for me to find just while we're over here. Including this toad over here that wants to listen to some sound tests. Hello! I'm traveling all over in search of all kinds of music. I wonder if you might know of some music that fits a certain theme. The theme is, wait for it, Sky High Coins are Plenty. If you've got that one, let me hear it. I've got just the one for you. Where is it? This one. Yeah. Hmm. Not quite right. Oh, what? I thought that... F I thought this music fit. Okay. Well... It couldn't be one of these, could it? I don't think so. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, what would that be? Th this? Maybe? Yeah, I didn't think so. It needs to sound happy, like the other thing. But, what would it be? Huh. Sky-high coins are plenty. What would that be? Uh... Duh, this? No. I was, that was just a guess, because there were, because that took place in the sky of the city, and it, you know, had loads of coins. Uh, maybe I don't have what I need, <laughs> because, I mean, there's not much I can do. I mean, I don't think it would be subterranean. I mean, it needs to sound like it's in the sky, right? Uh... Yeah, I actually don't think I have the right sound test unlocked. That's dumb. I mean, that's weird. Why wouldn't I have unlocked it? Because I'm sure I must have been to an area that takes place in the sky and is a bonus area to get coins. I had to have been to one of those sections by now. Why wouldn't I have the song unlocked? That makes no sense. Oh well, I'm also going to remove this because it's kind of out of place. Uh... Hmm... Well, that just throws me off completely, because now I'm going to be thinking about how I don't have the right sound test for that all episode. It's going to annoy me. I can already tell. But I... Yeah. Did I do this in an episode? I'm not sure. We're going to see now, though. Yes, I did already do that. 
done. Well, that just tells me that I've already explored this section for the most part, so there's no point in me even being here. So, we'll just go this way, into this watery bit, because I'm no I know for a fact that there is definitely something here that I missed. And that is in the form of a bear. You see that up there? That is a moon. Involving grabbing a giant seed. There we go. Grab onto that ledge. Just barely make it up. Tucked away inside the tunnel. Yay. Now we can dive through here. I don't think the fire will give me anything that I really need. Now that I think about it, where's the moon rock? Oh, it was all the way back at the beginning. I should probably get that first, shouldn't I? There's the moon rock, but first, is this a moon? Okay, no it isn't, it's just coins. For a for second, for some reason, I miss... I, maybe I misremembered it, but I... recalled finding a moon hidden just in plain sight in the ground like that. But... yeah, maybe it was just a misremembrance. Let's just skip that cutscene, I don't need to watch the whole thing. Don't know why I did watch the whole thing. Here we go. Lots more has been uncovered for us. Wait, it just... It's saying there's something over here. Um, what would that be? Is it on the... Oh, it's on the wall. It's on the outer border. I think it might be a mu musical note thing, and how I think about it. I think that might be it. Why do these coins just respawn instantly? I literally just collected them. But okay, not complaining. That might make it an easy grind spot to collect loads of coins quickly. But first, let me just go up to the top. There we go. Ooh, that's thin. Let's just go all the way to the top. And then I think there's a musical note thing over here. Oh, and purple coins that I have not collected for some reason. Let's go up and collect them. I did notice I'm missing, for some reason, a ton of coins in this area. I don't know why. I don't know why I've missed so many, but we're gonna hopefully find them all in this episode. Also, I need to come at it from this angle, because I remember doing this one. Let's go. Be super careful about it. This takes precision and concentration. Do it. No, I missed one. No. Yeah. Get, I'm hoping that that doesn't mess it up. Oh, get them all. There we go. Ooh, that was close. Almost messed it up completely. But luckily there was enough time to fix the one mistake. Taking notes on top of the wall. It's nerve-wracking because this thing is literally just the thinnest wall in the world. You could just fall off it easily. Easily, easily. Which is what I was worried about, honestly. Um... I don't... Th is there anything else? I think this just... This part just wraps around back to this section again. Yeah, it does. There's no point in me being here. I don't think, anyway. Yeah, there isn't. So let's just jump off! Did I buy the moon for this world yet? I'm not sure if I did. We'll actually try that right now. I'm intrigued to know. Let's, uh, go over here. To this section. Yes, I did buy the moon for this area. Still gotta get some more of those DLC costumes. Actually, wait a minute, I did the Kingdom Exclusive Moon for the costume in this world, so maybe I'll get one of the DLC costumes if I can. Uh... What would fit best, though? Um... All I have left is the Musician Outfit or the Sunshine Outfit. Um... I might go for... The... I mean, I would totally go for the skeleton suit if I could. Uh, maybe the. Yeah, um, hmm. I'm not sure, honestly. Luigi, I guess. We'll go for that one. We'll go for this. Here we go. Wow, Luigi cap and suit. Makes no sense under the circumstances we're in right now, or at least I don't think it does anyway. But. We're just gonna switch costumes, just because. Need to, I need to end up using all the costumes in an episode somehow. Also, what's going on over here? Nope, that is not telling me anything. I think that's just a random cutscene. Or not even a cutscene, just a random dialogue. Uh, do you say anything over here? Also, are any of these rocks special moon rocks? This one is. Okay. 
It's one, it's another one of those rocks that just takes forever to break. You know you want to break. Break. Hurry up and break, you stupid rock. Break. There we go. That actually didn't take as long as I thought it would. Rolling rock in the woods. And you don't say anything either, so I'm just gonna skip that. This rabbit, I shall catch you. You didn't even try to run away, but... Oh, there was no point to getting you anyway. Um... I, I think that might be it. I'm pretty sure there were some purple coins inside of a tree. One of these trees around here. Question is, the thing is, I don't remember if I did that in episode, or if I did, did that outside of an episode. That's the case for most of these. Oh, nope, I didn't get them in episode. Okay, glad I checked then. You see, even if you think you might have done it already in an episode, uh -oh, you just got you always just gotta check to make sure that you're not missing something totally obvious. There we go, we'll go up here. Now we can go into this area through this way, and just like the path to the water and the river area, there's another moon that we missed in here. Actually, this might be from the moon rock, I don't know. High up in the cave. As basic as basic gets. Uh, anything around here? I think... Did I go to this section back here? I'm not sure. Because there's a seed back here. Yeah, there is a seed back here. So let's just jump up here. And check this. Nope, I already got that one. Okay. No, these slick movements were, noth were for nothing. Now we could go this way. Ooh, maybe I need to bring a fire brother there. I'm hoping it'll actually give a moon, though. I'm not sure if it will, though. Um, where do I bring the... F where do I get the fire brother again? Uh, excuse me, coming through. I'm just gonna climb this waterfall. Like, I don't even care what's going on right now. And it makes sense, because I don't care what's going on right now. I just need to... How did I knock him out with Cappy? That makes no sense. Is it gonna respawn? Respawn! Respawn! Um... Are they gonna respawn? I really need them to. Um... That's a bit awkward. Um... Hmm... What if I leave, get the music started, then come back in? Are they gonna be back? Yes, they are! Thank goodness! Darn! Okay, time to do this. Let's just, uh... There we go. Need to try that again. I'm gonna wait for them to jump, and then I'm gonna do the ground pound throw. Yeah! Wait, what? Why does that knock them out? I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to be them, not knock them out. What's happening here? Why doesn't it work anymore? Um... Let's maybe go up here? I'm pretty sure there are more Fire Brothers up here, so hopefully they work. Otherwise, I think I might have glitched everything out, so I can't become anything anymore. Um, there we go. Get all the way to the top. There we go. I shall be you. Okay, so it still works. Oh no. Musical note thing. I need to do this first, because this is going to be annoying to have to come back to later. I'm going to be this thing, because I think you need to be this thing. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be tricky. I need to grab everything. Go, go, grab each musical note. I tried doing this with the hammer brother, it didn't work. And then I realized, wait a minute, I'm stupid, I'm supposed to use this thing. Yeah, so let's grab that. Taking notes. Stretching. Yay. Now I think if I go up this way, I should probably grab the Hammer Brothers again. Just because I think I might need to. Is there anything to the left around this corner? There is. There's a nut that I already have. Glad, still glad I checked, though. Um, now with the Fire Brother, I think I just need to jump down here and hope that this was actually, you know for something. I'm hoping there was a point to me doing this. Let's light this campfire. Yes, it does give me a moon, okay. For a second I was getting worried that it might not have done anything. And it was just pointless detail. Here we go. Is that hint, George? No, I don't think it is. Uh, 
There's a snail doing something in the river. They're doing something down there. Try see if they have any sort of quest. Might as well check. Nope. No point. Let's just leave. Is there anything? Maybe I should go in the pipe. Maybe. I don't remember if I did the pipe in episode. I don't know. We'll check anyway, though. Just got a super speed swim. Wow, you swim really fast, Mario. There we go. Super speed running strats going on here, even though I've never sped run anything in my life. And I don't plan on doing that, because it seems, like, very frustrating. Flooding pipeway ceiling secret. Let's, let's challenge myself to see how fast I can get out of here, while collecting everything else, and not getting hurt as well. Whoop. Let's just, uh, swim over here. And then do that. And then I could hopefully do this. And then do that. Ugh, just barely not touch the enemies. Floating pipeway. Oh, that was close. But there was some... St but I hadn't gone in there before, so... Yay. Good on me for checking that spot. Uh, over here, purple coins I already have. Hmm. It's weird... It's kind of funny how I'm how I'm missing certain things, but then co having collected some things that are right next to them, if you know what I mean. It's kind of funny. Ooh, there's a moon up there that I assume I'm going to need to get glide on for. Are there any moons here that are involving looking for stuff that's out of place? I don't think I honestly don't think there are in this world. I don't think there is one of those sphinx moons in this area. Are there any purple coins down here? Mm, there are some, but I've already collected them. Okay. There is some right there as well. No points. But there is a point to going in this pipe, because it's from the moon rock. So, we'll just enter this. Oh, no. This looks familiar. This looks nearly identical to the ultimate challenge, which was... A moon I definitely enjoyed, sarcastically speaking. This was a moon that I definitely enjoyed having to do in the in the in the moon do, the dark side of the moon kingdom. Let's just uh, collect that, and now I'm just gonna jump to the lower layer. Wait, I don't think I should have done that. No, wait, I'm still alive. I could save this somehow. Um, could I maybe save this? Whoa, I'm still here somehow. No, how am I still alive? Um, d uh, dive onto this platform. Go, run away. How am I surviving this? I don't know how I'm... No, that was so cheap. I almost made it to the end as well. Why? I almost survived from that dumb mistake. Now I kind of want to make that dumb mistake again so I can do the same thing but try and uh, actually make it back somehow because I almost made it back. Um, yeah, that was unfair. I totally should have grabbed the ledge. That shouldn't have been, like, me getting knocked off. That should have been me grabbing the ledge and surviving. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna do this and I'm gonna try the same thing again. Except jump on the bonsai bill this time. And then jump on that. Oop, just barely make it back onto this thing. Oop, and that does that. And we're gonna try and parkour out again. Except we're gonna actually succeed this time. There we go. Make it this time. Not gonna make the same mistake again. And yeah. Booyah. Made it. Bonsai Bill gonna come all the way to the end, though? I don't know if it is. Is there even any points? Oh, there is a point. Okay. Okay, so it's it's literally almost identical to the champion thing in every way. Down and back, breakdown road. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna have to go across this bridge again. Hopefully we can make it across. But I think what I need to do is... No, not you. But you can make it easier to get back the other way. I'm gonna need to crash into you. No! There was no ground to stand on. Okay, there was nothing I could have done about that. There was nowhere to go once I became the Bonsai Bill. Now let's just, uh... 
do the same thing again, except I just realized it's actually possible to be the Bonsai Bills. I don't know why I didn't think about that before. Could I have done that in the Champion thing as well, the Ultimate Challenge? Could I have did that in that as well? If so, I'm gonna feel really stupid. Um, let's just fall down here. I hope I hope I couldn't. I hope it wasn't actually possible to be the Bonsai Bill in that in that section. Cause if it was, man, I wasted loads of time doing it the regular way. Below Breakdown Road. That's another one down. I wonder how many moons are left in this kingdom. I'm gonna have to check. But first, let me grab that again, just to grab the extra coins. I'm still satisfied that I was able to, you know, do that parkour thing where I just fall down and then get back up to the top. Still satisfied that I pulled it off, though. Um, well, oops. Don't take a snapshot. I want to... No, don't pause the game. Look at the map. Oh, no. There are a lot more moons than I thought there were. I swear that count increased. 30, we have 30-something out of 70 or something. Wow. Okay. Definitely not completing this kingdom in this episode. That's definitely not gonna happen. First, let me just defeat this fire brother. And then grab the moon from... Oh, we already did that. Okay. In that case, I'm gonna take that. And then we will uh, leave Cappy behind, because we don't need them. Don't forget me. Um, we'll go this way. Oops, forgot to... I forgot to do the dive. Now we'll just jump up that way. Aw, oh, darn. We're gonna jump, and then climb the way to the top of this. And then we'll hopefully be able to find some more moons over here. I think there might be some moons in this section that I didn't get. Maybe. I don't... I'm not 100% sure, but maybe. I'll get on top of this. There's a nut that we didn't collect. High up on a rock wall. Yay. I'm just gonna cheer- I'm just gonna quickly go through this section and assume that there's something new here that I didn't get before. Or they came from the moon rock. So, yeah. Did I get this? I already did. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure the moon shards are new. I don't think there were moon shards in this section before. So, this might be from the moon rock. So, I'm glad I decided to check back in here. I'm just gonna grab this moon shard, ignore the coins because I don't need them, seeing as how successful Luigi's Balloon World is for getting coins. Grow that, go to the top, jump to the other side, jump back around. No more seeds to break, so we'll get the last piece of moon. There we go, it's right here. And it spawns right here! Perfect! Give me that. I'll be snagging that. Moon shards in the forest. Alright. Nice progress so far. Um, how do I get out of these things again? Oh, right. CL. Uh, what does this involve? Oh, just some pole jumping. Simple. Let's just do that, do that, do that, do that. Whoops. Nope. Nope. I think I messed it up. We'll go that and that. There we go. Wooded Kingdom Timer Challenge 1. Nice and easy. Do we continue this way? I think we should. Let's press this P-switch and follow the magical flower road. Over to this way, where we can curve around this section, I think. And then... Let me grab onto that. There we go. That was close. Uh... Oh, no. I just realized. I'm supposed to bring one of those stretchy things all the way over here. Well, that's gonna take a while. There's some purple coins over there. I don't think I've been to this section whatsoever. There's another seed moon over here, so I'm gonna take this. Gladly. Cracked nut on a crumbling tower. Yay. Um... That goes all the way down into the tower. Do I do the tower thing? I don't know. I think I might do the, uh, delivering of the stretchy creature first. Um, does this catapult bring me all the way down there? Because if so, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna take it. I'm just gonna parkour around. I'm just gonna parkour across the flower bridges. There we go. That's a much easier way of getting back. I'm just gonna jump down, actually. No. I think I need to grab it from this area over here. 
Um, can I get one? I just really need to get all the way to the top so I can grab one of those creatures and bring them all the way to the other side. There we go. Nice. Reverse parkour. Going back up to the same tunnel I just went down. But, but from the other side. Let's go this way. Run, creature, run! Go across the flower bridge. Run like you're doing this. Run faster than your tiny legs can carry you. Now just go and jump across. Parkour up these things. Parkour up here. I don't need to parkour up here. Go down here. A creature that can stretch many times its height upward. I've been hoping you investigate one up close. Is that a hint towards the sequel to arms? A it'll be about, like, fighting when you can go up and down a lot. And maybe it would be leg called legs. I guess that would make sense. That would make a lot of sense, actually. Hmm. I wonder. Anyway. So, the root telescope's out like so. I see. The mystery is solved. I met an up root. I just realized there's one of these these bonneton like cappy species person person met and wants to meet some kind of creature from that world. There's missions like that in all the worlds I just realized, or most of them at least. Because I remember doing one with the one with the fish, the cheap cheap in the Lake Kingdom. So uh yeah. Let's go inside this building. I'm not sure if there's anything for me to get in the tower, but we'll, but it couldn't hurt to check. Nope, there legitimately was nothing in the tower. I'm pretty sure anyway there was nothing in there. So, yeah, we'll just leave that behind. Are there any purple coins on this thing? I feel like there could be. There might be. Um, I'll look around though. No, there's one of those stretchy creatures. Ah, there are purple coins over there. Let me just grab these before we fight that mini boss that's at the top there. Now, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna get back up? I like this groovy music that's playing right now. I think that's the mini boss music playing out of context. There we go, we'll go this way. Time to become the Goombas. Now we'll just do this. And then, come on, give me another Goomba. There we go. And now I think I might be able to do it from here with this many. Nope, there we go. Made it. Oh, I wonder if I could make it up there with a triple jump with cap throw. I think I can. Yeah, oh, I missed. Are you kidding? I missed. No, not cool. Okay. Duh. Oh, I missed again. I gotta make sure I'm going in the right direction completely straight. No, no, I hit the spikes. Darn. Any hearts anywhere for me to collect? If not, I guess I'm gonna have to do the Goomba strat. Oh wait, there's a rock. Please. Rock, drop a heart. Drop a heart, rock. It didn't drop a heart. No. I'm gonna have to use the Goombas and hope that I just managed to succeed. Come on. This is only stage two of the fight. Come on. I'm assuming there's more than more than two stages to the fight at least. Um oh wait, I heard a heart. Go! Give me this. I need this. There we go. Um, become that and become that. There we go. Oh, I'm high enough. I think I might be high enough to touch the spikes. There we go. We'll pound him again. Oh, was that it? Yay, I only needed to hit him twice. Thank goodness, because that was close. Almost failed. Invader in the Sky Garden. I think that might be ev I think that might be the last of the secrets for this air entire area of the Wooded Kingdom. I think we might be done here. Except for that. But I don't think I'm gonna be getting that anytime soon. So I guess do I just um YOLO jump it off? Let's a go. Let's jump off. And then I'm gonna get onto this railing. Long jump off, there we go, and dive to the other side. Skip that entire maze section, because who needs it? I'm jumping off! Yay. How many more do we need to get? Oops, darn, I keep pressing the capture button. Um, 41 out of 76. We'll go a little, we'll go a little further before we end the episode. We'll go this way. 
Did I go up there? I did. Okay. So I don't need anything from here. Let's just climb to the top. Ah, the Koopa races. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Let's get this over with. Where are we needing to race to? Oh, we're going back that way. Okay, time to go back to- Time to race back to where we literally just were. I know an efficient route to get there. I'm just gonna go this way, this way, this way. Long jump off. Cap dive at the end so I don't get the lag. Oh darn, I got the lag anyway because I hit the wall. No, not cool. Okay, time to jump onto this. Moving platform. Ground pound jump onto this. Go, go. That is so stressful. There we go. Made it. Time to long jump off. Cap dive jump thing. And then we'll go this way. And we've made it. Oops, I missed it. No, there we go. If I make that same mistake again and then lose because of it in the master difficulty race, that'd be very annoying. Blazing fast, bro. Here's the prize. A power moon. Thank you. Time to challenge your golden difficulty. Let's try it. We've got a new race here, blah, blah, blah. Win something good. If you win the race, that's the spirit. Let's do this. Okay, let's try this. I'm gonna go... Oh, they have the same strategy as me, but I'm gonna triple jump off so that I make the jump this time. Yes! This is going much faster than before. I even made it up here, no problem. Okay, let's jump up this way. Yes! Oh, darn! I made a mistake there. Ground pound jump to the top. Ignore all the enemies. Long jump. Cap dive. Make it to the end. There we go. Still, no problem. Easy peasy. Success. Even faster than before. Let's fast bro, here's the prize of Power Moon. Yes again. Same dialogue. Wooded Kingdom Master Cup. Okay, now if we go around this way, I think there are quite a few moons around here. If I ground down this, okay, I already got that one. But this one is from the Moon Rock, so we'll do this. I think it's from the Moon Rock anyway. It might not be. I think it is though. We're gonna um jump up here. Go as fast as possible, and then grab that. Wooded Kingdom Timer Challenge 2. Can I get on top of this ledge? I can. Yeah. Anything up here? Oh, there's a painting to another world. It's for the f food kingdom, luncheon kingdom. Should I do that? We're here. We might as well grab this. It'd be annoying to come back to to do anyway. So we might as well grab the secret painting. And we are here in the luncheon kingdom. Let's grab this. Secret path to Mount Volbono. Yay, this is really far away. Wow. Time to go back to the Wooded Kingdom, though. And we're back to the Wooded Kingdom once again. Let me just climb down here. And should this, should we make this rocket, mo rocket to another area moon be our last one for this episode? I think we should. Let's grab this and launch over to a place that ironically looks like the moon, but with girders and stuff on it. So the name of the game for this section, I th I'm pretty sure, is Moon Shards. We're gonna be- oh, careful. We're gonna be looking for Moon Shards. I think it- I think the best way to do this might be to find the Paragoombas that I think are nearby in this section. There we go, there's one. Now I got this Paragoomba. Finding the rest of the shards should be no problem. I just need to fly across these girder things. Then we can follow these coins down underneath the platform. And there might be some purple coins around here, or just another moon shard. I don't know if there are any purple coins in this section. I can't remember. But I'm hoping there weren't any purple coins underneath the main platforms. I'm gonna check anyway, because you never know. Or... Oh, the- oh, okay. Well, here's our secret for this section. Power Moon. Nut hidden in the fog. Glad I found that by accident, because I didn't think that was there. I, didn't, I don't remember finding that, but okay. We did it. 
Well, should we leave now? I don't think there are any purple coins anywhere, so let's just leave. Wandering in the fog. Success. I really hope there weren't any purple coins anyway. Just one, one last quick check. No, I don't think so. I don't think they would be mean enough to have to win and we decide to hide purple coins somewhere in this fog. But in between episodes, I might look it up though. Just to make sure. But I think, once we leave this, I think, looking at the at that amount of moons on the side of the screen there, this might be an excellent time, or as good a time as any, to end the episode here. In the next episode, we will probably, probably 100% complete the Wooded Kingdom. I'm not sure, but I assume we might. And, uh, yeah, for now, that'll be about it for this video. Please like the video if you liked the video, of course, and subscribe, maybe if you want to see more videos just like this one. And I will see you all on the next episode of, whoops, Super Mario Odyssey. Adventure on!